The September 2021 release of ArcGIS Online brought an incredible new enhancement to the map viewer. This is known as effects, which you can apply Photoshop-like things to your layers. So what does that mean and how would you use it? Well, let's look at a fundamental example, such as using effects to alter your base map. So here I'm using uh, a custom base map that uses blending modes, but I'd really like the ocean to look a lot more like an ocean. So I know that there's a base map that's called the mid-century map. And what I like about this base map is the fact that it's got these wavy lines in the ocean that help me see that it's an ocean. However, this does not work with the cartography on my map, as you can clearly see. However, I can use layer effects on that layer, on this uh, base map layer, to change the look and feel of it. So over here on the right, you'll notice this lovely little button that says effects, and it's got a nice little star pattern. If you click on that, it brings you to the di various different effects. Now you can turn these all on and off to try them out. For example, if I wanted to first start by making this grayscale, I can simply toggle that on and play with the strength of the settings. In this case, I'd probably want 100. But this is still not really working with my layer, so how could I turn this or invert this to have a darker base map? Well, let's give it a shot. Right away, we now have that squiggly effect in the ocean, but we also now have an inverted version of that grayscale that we had before. So automatically, this map is already starting to look a little better. Now there's a lot of other options like hue, rotate, and sepia that could also alter a base map and customize it in lots of different ways. Now let's see how you can use effects on operational layers, such as this layer of bus stops in the Los Angeles area. So by default, I already see my pattern, but there's a lot of dots on this map, and I'd really like to help emphasize those dots on the map. One effect that can be used is the drop shadow. Now, drop shadow is one of my favorites because it really just does exactly like the name says, creates a drop shadow. But what's cool is that you can customize it in lots of different ways. You can make the width of that drop shadow wider or smaller. I'm going to go with this, this width. You can also change how the offset looks. You can change which side it appears on or if it's above or below. You can even change how much it even shows up with the opacity. Or you could even change the color. Say I want it to be hmm, blue. Eh, I like this. I think I'm gonna keep this as is. Now this is an example of a basic drop shadow. You can also use drop shadows to create emphasis on your polygon layers. So for example, here I have the counties in the United States and a quick drop shadow with maybe a few adjustments of making it a little bit wider, changing it to the side. Now it almost looks like the United States is popping out of this map and it really brings it to life. Another example where drop shadow can be used, which creates a really interesting effect, is with any map that uses transparency on the colors. So in this example, there's transparency, especially you can see here in like the Midwest, uh, Northeast regions. If I add that drop shadow, Right away, you can see it almost creates this 3D effect, almost like the, uh, these ones are falling into the background and these ones are popping out to life. Well, there's also a lot of different ways that we can ad adjust the look and feel of our maps. So here's some line features. These are um, transmission lines throughout the United States. I can, of course, also still add a drop shadow to kind of make them pop, but there's a lot of other things I can try, like bloom. Bloom does exactly like it says, it makes it bloom from the map. And we can, again, play with the settings and see what we like. I'm not sure I like that one, but I can try other things like brightness and contrast, and I can play with those colors. So in this case, I can make the colors a lot more uh, bright and deep within the map. Or if I don't like those settings, I just click back and go back to what it was originally or I can just turn it off. 
can also use things like hue rotate, which literally changes the colors relative to the other colors on the map. So there's a lot of different things you can do with this. And if you're looking for more resources, you can check out the ArcGIS blog site for lots of different examples and how-tos. Thank you.